So here we are, Derby Day apparently, chapter whatever. Boss man is going on a rabbit in about the Huddersfield match. Medic Maniac doesn't want to know. But you know, boss man's like the type of person you just got to nod your head and say all the right words and hope that he goes away. You know? He won't. He won't go away. This is bad. Um, anyway, get some news. And the news really to pick out is Escobar's new skill, which is gamesmanship, and Guy's role change. Uh, and, yeah, just other general bits and bobs for me. And then we go into the Blackburn game. And here we are with an effort straight away, and Pavlidis goes into a slide... I, why did he need to slide there? What well, just why? You know, only if he lost his balance and if he was pushed. In which case, go on, ref, free kick. Anyway, um, and if it was inside the area, penalty. Um, anyway, Blackburn attacking, getting a shot away, missing. Blackburn were very aggressive. It this match was very difficult. It felt like a fight. It really did feel like a fight. Um, but here we are with another effort which goes wide. I think that's the allow. I tried. Did I try and curl that one? I think I did. I think I tried to curl that around the keeper and it just failed miserably. Guay sets himself up for an effort and the referee says, No, you fouled him. And I said, You what? The ball was there to be won. So I had a look, and sure enough, the ball was there to be won. But the referee addressed his love doll up in Blackburn gear, so you know what I mean? It's one of them, because they get another free kick for something really innocuous. Anyway, here, here come Blackburn. Probably willed on by the referee. And they get a tame shot into the arms of Tiepo. And then, a bit of play down the left side with Delgadillo gets the ball in and eventually Larson with an overhead and it's over the bar and then we managed to set up an attack Pavlidis with a nice drop of the shoulder and that's a good hand to that one because Pavlidis got voltage on that one. He really got hold of that and struck it quite uh, firmly indeed. Good hand to that by the keeper. Kept Blackburn in it there. Deflected into the hands of Tiepo from Blackburn's effort. And then we try and set up another attack. But Blackburn were very, very, you know, pressing and ganging up on us in and around their area to obviously win the ball and break which here they are breaking from said example turn and we managed to block that one and then it's get subs on play it out from the back stack forward to Vaca to see for who's had to play today because no Gyoza to Lovera and that that looks a better save from that angle and then when you see it from this one it's kind of like going toward the keeper rather than toward the corner if he'd have been able to direct that but hitting it on the volley you know he caught it sweetly but you know just not able to angle it to the corner so nil nil it was Had nil nil written all over it really. And there you can see the stats. Goni apparently man of the match. Results for match day 31. And because I couldn't show you the table after match day 30 last time because there was no room. Here is the table after 31 matches. And we are 10th. 
as you can see Norwich top, Huddersfield second, Bournemouth third. You can see the table for yourself. And then down to the teams propping it up at the bottom. The boss man's still rabbiting on about this derby match. Yes, boss man. Three bags for boss man. Derby match. Mm, it's so important. Mm, we must do well in our next game because of the derby. Not that we want to do well in it anyway. So our next game was Coventry City away. And I put uh, the Leeds team in my interpretation of that dark top orange kind of shorts one that we wore at Spurs uh, IRL and here's an effort from Pavlidis which goes wide Coventry were pretty tough actually um, they gave us you know a good contest in the midfield Another effort, I think is that from Vaca, that one. Because I've been trying to play Vaca to settle him into the team. Yes, it was Vaca there, hitting that one. And again, we win the ball. We get, get the ball from the knockdown from the goalkeeper's um, point out. And then Pavlidis is able to get onto the through ball and smash it home. Putting Leeds United into a 1-0 lead. Get in. Come on, Leeds. So, a ball over the top. A lofted pass. Pavlidis onto it. Holding off the defender and smashing it past the keeper. Lavera is with the fruit ball. Lavera is actually a very decent player. So, I'm... Um, quite excited to have him because I, I liked him a lot in 2020 so if he's anything like he was in 2020 you know it's going to be really cool Pavlidis with another effort left foot this time turned away by their keeper who made some smart saves in this, this game you're going to see that Coventry down this near side ball in and that is uh, Harmlessly wide, not troubling anybody. Play the ball out from the back. Cool. To Lavera. Lavera with a lovely sweeping ball across. And Pavlidis, and that is a good save. It's one of the saves I was just talking about from their keeper. Voltage on that one. Got down well and pushed it away. Pavlidis really, really caught that sweetly. Nice ball out to Lawson on the far side. Lawson looking to get the ball in low. It deflects. Could go anywhere then. And then the referee pulls out a yellow card for Eccles. For a horrible challenge on Kakul actually. Looking at that. Good job he wasn't injured. Gone Knocks it back to Lavera. Lavera swivels, turns and fires in a good effort. And the keeper beats it away. Lavera was caught there just on the edge of the box. Just giving a bit, bit of a kick there by the uh, Coventry defender. Vaca steps up. And I was looking to uh, put that one in the top corner but I just didn't give it enough. And it hit the wall. Went out of play, Sigmund, that was the last action in the uh, first half, that. Commentary down the far side, obviously, as you can see. Ball in the box, hit a post. Lucky, lucky, lucky Leeds United. Got away with that one. Gyoza wins the ball here. There's a gap. Pavlidis is through. Pavlidis. 2-0 Leeds United, left foot. Bang, have some of that. Looking good. Nice ball from Gyoza. Good work by Pavlidis once again. 
in front of the defender holding him off and then this time rifling it home with the left foot past the keeper for 2-0 Leeds United come on another high ball from Coventry picked up by Leeds another ball through Pavlidis can it be three wide Larson with the ball Pavlidis latches onto it right foot but just wide Larson again sweeping ball across Pavlidis is on it and that is uh, hopeful <laughs> but he's got confidence he's playing with uh, a bit of a swagger in this game you can feel it can't you when you use players they just seem to be on it get subs on good header there Goyos is on because probably this was a bit tired so it's good header but unfortunately not in Stark Lovely ball by Stark to Goyos. Goyos now. 3 0 Leeds United. Couple of touches. And then found the corner very, very nicely indeed. Lovely ball by Stark. Finding that gap. Goyos into space. Takes it away from the defenders and finds the corner. 3 0 Leeds United get in. Couple of touches into the corner she goes. Get a corner and then pressing shoot, panic, 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 and in the end I think it's Delgadillo with a back heel. <laughs> that goes wide. Corner from Coventry, but underneath it and looped over the bar. Leeds come forward once again. Chalabar to Goyos, and that's a good save by their keeper. Another one of the good saves that he's pulled off in this game. That is an awful challenge. He's very, very lucky that Goyos wasn't injured there. That should be red. What was what was he doing? And with a free kick, I put it over. And that signalled the end of the game. Three points in the bag. Three, score, uh, three goals scored. And a clean sheet as well. So those are the stats of the match. And we had a lot of chances. Pavlidis, man of the match. There are the results for match day 32. And then we have to face some press conference and I was just utterly bored because I am not playing this derby match. This derby match will be put on easy difficulty, five minutes, and I will just keep the ball because after, after all my experiences with derby matches in pairs, I am not having anything to do with them. The score will be nil-nil because I will ensure it will be nil-nil. And then after that um, stupid derby match, then the difficulty will get put back and the time will get put back to how it was. Bit of news, Lavera's playing style and also Jarvis can go. So he's apparently lined himself up another club. So we're just going in there to you know, ensure that he goes on his way. Take care. See you next time.